Have you ever considered that a greenhouse is kind of like a miniature planet? Like, think about it. Greenhouses are filled with some of the same flora that inhabit the planet they're built on, but they're tiny and far less complex in comparison. Sort of like how subviral particles, uh, that is, prions and viroids, have some of the same components as viruses, but they're smaller and simpler than their viral counterparts. See, subviral particles are tiny little infectious agents that, unlike viruses, lack protein coding genetic material. We're going to kick off this sketch with prions and then wrap up with viroids. Well, I can't say breaking and entering to water the petunias is something I can personally relate to, but I respect the commitment. This proteinaceous purple invader pried open the door to remind you of prions, which are pathogenic misfolded proteins. Whoa, this guy is a lot more menacing than I thought. And in this form, he sort of resembles a beta pleated sheet. That's because prions have far more beta pleated sheets in their structure than normal healthy proteins. Okay, so one measly little protein is misfolded. No big deal, right? Well, remember how we said that prions are infectious? That's because prions are able to trigger normal, healthy proteins to misfold in the exact same way. Most often, prions cause normal proteins to convert their alpha helices into beta-pleated sheets. That's why this pleated greenhouse invader is misfolding a normal helical hose into a non-functional pleated one. Trust me, not a single drop of water can escape all those folds. These misfolded proteins are far less soluble and much harder for the cell to degrade. This causes aggregates of prions to form, which we've shown with the heaps of pleated sheet-shaped mulch bags in the back here. Once enough prions accumulate, cell function diminishes, and a whole bunch of badness ensues. Some examples of prion diseases are bovine spongiform encephalopathy, also known as mad cow disease, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, and fatal familial insomnia. All three diseases are absolutely terrifying, uh, the first more so if you're a cow, but fortunately, prion diseases are incredibly rare as they're very difficult to contract. Though in some cases, these diseases can be hereditary if a gene mutation causes protein misfolding. So, you know, don't sleep too well tonight. All right, now let's move on to the second and last type of subviral particle, viroids. Viroids are plant-infecting pathogens composed of small, circular, single-stranded RNA, which is why these small, circular bugs with a single ring of RNA orange are making a buffet out of this plant. Like viruses, viroids can only reproduce inside of host cells. But unlike viruses, viroids don't have a capsid or outer envelope, and their RNA doesn't encode any proteins. Instead, viroids cause disease by silencing certain genes in the plant cell genome. That's why these viroid bugs are making sure that this innocent sunflower never speaks again. He knew too much. As you know, silencing genes prevents the production of proteins. And you're probably not going to be surprised by this, but plants kind of need those. All told, silencing genes leads to metabolic issues and structural damage that cause disease or even death of the plant. And just when you thought only plants were going to be harmed in this video... Enter this unsuspecting human. He's here to remind you that there is one viroid-like pathogen that can cause disease in humans. The hepatitis D virus, or HDV for short. HDV is actually harmless by itself because it requires the presence of the hepatitis B virus to complete its life cycle. But if HBV is around, the combination can cause liver disease. That's why this B-winged bee and D-winged dragonfly have teamed up to attack this guy's hepatic-looking fanny pack. People can either become infected with both hepatitis D virus and hepatitis B virus at the same time, or somebody already infected with hep B can contract hep D. And that's a wrap for subviral particles. As for me, I'm going to go see what those viroid bugs are planning on doing to that sunflower. I hope they're not extorting him for his seeds again. Ooh, or retaliating against him for his ties to the pesticide industry. Well, I guess I'll find out. Later!